Hi everyone! Today I'm going to do a lovely natural bridal makeup for you. First I'm going to start cleansing my skin and I'm using the Garnier Micellar Formula. And I'm going to prime my face first with the Makeup Forever HD Primer in number 5. And apply that all over my face. For foundation, I'm using the NARS Sheer Matte Foundation, but you can use another one if you want to, as long as it hasn't got an SPF in it. And I'm using a Real Technique sponge to apply that. For concealer, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20 and a Dome Shadow Brush. Then I'm tapping that in with my ring finger. Then I'm going to set that all in place with the Illamasqua Loose Powder and a Real Techniques Powder Brush. Then just using a random fluffy brush to push it into my concealer. For bronzer, I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer and a Blush Brush by Real Techniques. I'm really loving this bronzer at the moment. I'm applying that um, more towards the hairline and in a C sort of shape up to my temples. and then just going down my neck a bit with it. With the same brush, I'm going to apply Fleur Power by MAC Blush. For flash photography, you want to add a little bit more blush than you usually would put on, um, so it shows up on the pictures. Using MAC Millerai Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, I'm going to apply it with my fingers to the top of my cheekbones. Then I'm going to brush through my brows in an upward motion. And yes, one of my eyebrows is shorter than the other. <laughs> Using Sleek's Brow Kit in Dark and a MAC 209 brush, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. Then I'm going to brush through it with Maybelline's Brow Drama in Dark Brown. Then I'm going to prime my eyes using Urban Decay Primer Potion and all the eyeshadows I'm going to be using are out of the Sleek Au Naturel palette. And the first colour I'm going to be using is Nougat and a MAC 239 brush and I'm applying that all over the first two thirds of my lid and also my brow bone. Don't forget to tap off the excess on your brush because you do not want to put too much on at once. Next eyeshadow I'm going to be using is Cappuccino and I'm using a MAC 217 brush and applying that really, really lightly to my crease. And this is my blending out colour. So where you would like the main colour to be, you would go a little bit outside of that line with the blending out colour. Then I'm going in with Bark and applying that just underneath where we put Cappuccino. I've then got my MAC 239 brush again and I'm just pushing that into my lash line a little bit towards the outer corner and also putting it underneath my eyes. Then I'm using taupe on my MAC 239 brush again and putting that in the middle of my eyelid.
For eyeliner, I'm using the Rimmel London Specialized Precision Eyeliner Pencil in dark brown and applying that to my top waterline and also really thinly on my upper lash line. Then I'm grabbing my angled brush again and I'm applying a little bit of the brow powder that I used over the top of the eyeliner. I'm then coming back in with the pencil liner and adding a tiny little flick and then smudging that with my angled brush again and also smudging out the flick upwards into my crease. I'm then lining my bottom waterline with the NYX eyeliner pencil in white. Then I'm using an eyelash curler and this is my Shiramora eyelash curler and I'm pressing continuously while pulling out of my eyelashes. Then using my favourite mascara which is the Lancome Hypnos Mascara and applying that to my top and bottom lashes. And then finally for lipstick I'm using Max Please Me Lipstick. And then we're all finished. I really hope you enjoyed this look and if you did then let me know in the comments below and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Love you, bye! everyone, Becca Rose has recently made a new tag on YouTube and is the secret diary of a YouTuber tag and she wanted me to do this video too.